Hey everybody, what's going on? Spyro Kid here, and today we are playing Camp Buddy, Yuichi's Route Part 5. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. I haven't done this game in such a long time, and I kind of missed it, honestly. I'm kind of connected to it, you know? I'm part of a community. Community power! <sighs> Alright. Let's get right to it. Um, where were we last time? So, what was it like last time? Let me try and remember. We've been doing bake sale stuff to try to get the camp's funding up and running and whatever. We're helping out the Scoutmasters when we're not supposed to be, but... Eh. We love the place, so we have to help out. I wonder if, we, if I can even remember the voices I did. Fwah! I'm so tired. That was the longest week ever. Yeah. But it went so much better than we all expected. Everyone worked so hard to save the camp. <laughs> It's been a long time since I've seen Sir Goro so happy. The whole place has never felt more alive. <laughs> you can say that again. This place is a lot less boring now that we have Yuki around again. Yoichi. Y Yuki isn't allowed in the. Blah, blah, blah. Yuki is. Uh... Huh? Yuki is allowed in the camp, not in the cabin. Bark. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> hey, that tickles. What? Look, Natsumi, Yuki likes you. Well... I, I guess. It's alright for Yuki to play inside our cabin for a bit. She's behaving so well, too. I really like how she lets us rub her belly. <laughs> <laughs> her fur is so soft and shiny, too. <laughs> she's really, She's been really clingy ever since she came back to the camp. I guess she enjoys the attention here. <laughs> oh. That reminds me. Did you guys bring Yuki out with you on your door-to-door -door campaign? Well... I wanted to, but Sheriff said that it would be too much stress on her. Well... That makes sense. It's better to let her rest. She is pregnant, after all. <laughs> it's nice having her around. Though, I've never had a pet before. Wow! I'm still surprised that you were able to convince Sir Girl to let her stay here, though. It's not like I know what goes through his head. I'm just glad he let Yuki stay here. Hello! Oh, it looks like Yuki's bonding well with her new friends, huh? Scoutmaster Yoshi! Ah, I'm sorry we had the Yuki inside our cabin. We were just... That's what matters. Don't worry about it, Natsumi. Y'all look like you're having fun anyway. See? I told you not to freak out, Mr. Perfect. Anyway. This day isn't over quite yet. Isn't this exciting? Scoutmaster... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Scoutmaster Yuri <laughs> wants you all to gather for at the mess hall. She has prepared a special surprise for everyone here in camp, buddy. Ooh. Yes, sir. I'll get everyone over there immediately. Very good. Don't make her wait too long. Hmm. I wonder what kind of activity it is. Oh. Maybe it's a welcome party. Maybe one of those guys from before joined the camp. <laughs> I don't think so, hero. Usually the scoutmasters would have me do a tour of, uh, of any new recruits beforehand. Plus, it's Mia Siuri who's organized the event this time. 
Ugh. Knowing the crazy lady will be some weird out of this world ship. Well... <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll find out soon. In the meantime, why don't you go pick, uh, put Yuki back on her leash? She can't come to the mess hall after all. Yeah. Fine. You hear that, Yuki? We gotta leave you here for now. Try not to trash the place, alright? Yoichi! I said leave her on the leash, not in the cabin. Huh? Why not? She'll be fine. It's pretty comfy here anyway. No! Yuichi, that's not what I mean. What if she... <laughs> See? She likes this place. Hey! That's my... <laughs> that's my bed. She'll get over my pillows and blanket. She might even be on the sheets. I think we need to go now. Um, we don't want to be late for that special activity, right, Natsumi? But... <laughs> Breaker Bell's right. Let's go already. <sighs> Are you sure we can all leave Yuki in our cabin like that? Yep. She'll be fine. She's sweet and cute. I'm like Wolf Boy, after all. Well... Can't argue with that. It's okay. Don't worry, Natsumi. We can go check on her during the activity from time to time, I'm sure. Hey, dweebs. Uh-oh. Taiga! Hey! Why are you calling us names again? Chill. I was just messing with y'all, hero. All habits die hard, you know. So you guys are headed to the mess hall, too? Hello. We've been informed that an unexpected gathering has prepared for has been prepared for us. That is true. Yeah, Taiga was so excited for it that we had to rush out the door. My makeup isn't even fully finished. Ah, uh, yes we are. I wonder what the surprise is. Scoutmaster Yoshi seemed really eager for us to find out about it, too. Come on! Let's go check it out, then. We'll figure it out together. <laughs> Taiga is so nice now. It's so strange. Yeah! No way I'm used to it yet. Not even after a week. That is true. But I prefer this new Taiga. He's just the sweetest. I'm thrilled. The new Taiga is much more reasonable and eager to engage in discussions, indeed. Edward Lee. <laughs> Guys, you're making it sound like I'm a horrible person. A guy can change, right? I promise to Katero and to all of you that I'm doing my best to make up for everything after all. Right, it's way more fun when all of us get along like this. Come on! Enough chit chat, let's go figure out what the surprise is. Hmm. Good, good. Wow! Everything is set up so pretty. Look at all those decorations. Cool! Everyone's here too. I've never seen the mess all this lively before. <laughs> hi. <laughs> hi. 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 Hold on. Wait, I know that laugh. <laughs> Hello uh, there. <laughs> Hello, boys. <laughs> Miss Yuri, what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> hi, hi. To celebrate our successful campaign, we've decided to throw everyone a little party. And in the spirit of the season, I've decided to make a little Halloween costume party. Give me a break. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Halloween is still three months away, you crazy lady. Anyway. There's a whole box of costumes made and ready over there. Once you pick one you like, you can get change and enjoy the party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I wonder what delightful costumes you put on. Whoever has the best costume will get a special reward from me. Huh? Best costume, huh? <laughs> you guys are already lost. I got a kick-ass idea for mine. Well. You're actually excited for this, Wolf Boy. Are you sick or something? <laughs> You'll, Torchhead. You'll eat those words when you see my costume. It'll be way better than anything you come up with, Torchhead. That's a spirit. Wow. Miss Yuri, those costumes are really well made. The camp just have these on hand? I've never seen them before. Hmm. Where'd you get all these? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to know where I got them. <laughs> just have fun and start dressing up. Okay, Taro. Psst. Dear, be sure to take lots of pictures, all right? Hi, hi. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll be leaving you five to get changed now. But everyone had better get in costume the minute I get back. <laughs> Yoichi. A costume Miss Yuri is wearing. It seems really familiar. Isn't that the stuff we found in the... Yeah. Don't even say it. <laughs> the thing you used her stuff on me. <laughs> making every hair on my body stand on end. Hmm? What? Huh? What are you guys talking about? Uh... It, it's nothing to not to me. Anyway... <laughs> Have you guys decided what costume you want to wear? Hmm... Well, Miss Yuri did provide us with... provide us with a, lots of different costumes and materials. Looks like there's enough to make your own, too. Although, I'll probably just 
use a pre-made one myself. Hmm. I'm not too sure what I should wear either. What are you guys gonna put on? Oh! I think it'll be fun if we don't tell each other what we're gonna wear. <laughs> Kitaro sure loves surprises. Alright. Sounds like fun. Oh. I already have an idea for mine. <laughs> Whatever you thought of won't be nearly as awesome as mine. Just wait till you all see. Hmm. Let's see. I guess they both have good ideas. I'll head out and find something for me as well. Hold on. Hey, wait for me, guys! I don't know what to choose either. <laughs> now, what should I wear? Hmm. What? <laughs> this costume reminds me when I used to play baseball. I used to really like playing. Hero was even on a team with me for a few years. Maybe. I should start playing again. Huh? What's what is that? Hey! Freeze, citizen! You're under arrest for being too adorable! Ah, oh, Natsumi, that outfit is perfect for you! You look so good in a police uniform. It'll fit you around the camp, too. <laughs> Thank you, Keitaro. I'm trying to get in character, too. I want to see if I can win whatever that special prize is that Miss Yuri mentioned. Well... It's nothing compared to what Hero's come up with. Superhero! <laughs> to the rescue! What seems to be the problem here, officer? Is this cute and innocent baseball player need of rescue? Fear nuts for Super Gyrus here to save the day. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. You look really cool, hero. Wow. I'm surprised Miss Jury had a Super Gyru costume in her stash. N no. Oh, she didn't. I just crafted this superhero costume using the extra materials myself. That's really creative of you. That's really creative of you, hero. I know, right? Just keep the compliments coming. Anyway... Come on, let's get us some food already. My mouth has been watering since I got in here. Hero? Be patient. The others aren't here yet. We're waiting to see all their costumes too, remember? <laughs> Your costumes are nothing compared to ours. Aww. Yuki's in a costume too. So adorable. <laughs> I can't believe you're wearing a fursuit. <laughs> Where did you get that? Duh. Don't you see the stash of weird stuff that crazy lady has? And why are you laughing? You're the one that looks like a used condom <laughs> with all that spandex. <laughs> Says the guy who looks like hairy balls. <laughs> Calm down. Oh no, you two. Maybe you two should line up a little. Shut up! Mofo Popo, we're not talking to you. I don't understand. <laughs> Mofo Popo? Catero. Why don't you tell them who I'm dressed up as? Okay, time to get the guide out. Alright, it would be Yuki. Come on! That's easy. You're dressed up as Yuki, and Yuki's dressed up as you. Hmm, let's see. Does that mean what Yuki is wearing is... Yep, she's wearing my clothes, alright? Yoichi. That's gross, Yuichi! You're gonna need to wear that uniform again, and you put on your dog? Come on. Yuki's not that dirty. And you have to admit, it looks really cool on her. Isn't that right, Yuki? <laughs> It's not like I just leave Yuki outside while we're all having fun. Well... Yuki at least looks cute, but you still like a dumb dog- still look like a dumb dog in a fursuit, though. <sighs> Take that back, Torchhead, or I'll tear apart that condom suit of yours. <sighs> you two really don't get tired of arguing with each other, huh? Actually... <clears throat> By the way, where's Hunter? I don't think I've seen him in his costume yet. Hmm, let's see. I think he's still dressing up in our cabin. And I might have overheard Miss Yuri with him, too. There seemed to be a lot of weird noises coming from there. Um... Should we go and check on him? Of course. Sure, why not? Hmm. Hey! Hunter, are you done yet? I'm starving and we can't eat without you. Um... <laughs> please go without me! Are you alright? What's wrong, Hunter? Is everything alright in there? Hmm. We're all really excited to see your costume. No. I can't go out looking like this. Hmm. L like what? <sighs> Miss Yuri forced me into a embarrassing costume. She looked like it. She said it looked good on me, but. Huh? Come on, Tweaker Bell. We can't party unless you get out there. So stop freaking out about your costume. Okay. But fine, but you have to promise not to laugh. Okay, fine. You have my word. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. What the hell is that? Are you going to work in a strip club or something? Yoichi. That's not nice. You just promised you would laugh. Come on, Mr. Perfect. This isn't fair. 
It's just too funny. <laughs> hero? You too, Hero? Mm -hmm. y you guys promised not to laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hunter. I was just thinking that your costume might be a little too suggestive. Aww. But it really works on... But it really works well on Hunter. It fits his petite body. <laughs> Sheesh. Mr. Perfect might be just as preferred as that crazy lady. Of course not. I didn't mean anything like that, Yuichi. If anything, I just appreciate that Hunter can pull off such an endearing look. <laughs> Whatever. Look, still looks like a stripper's costume to me. <sighs> Don't listen to him, Hunter. You look adorable in your costume. Keitaro? But what about you, Keitaro? What do you think? Well... Uh, I think it does look cute on you, but you might get a little cold wearing just that. Why don't we get you a jacket to warm me up? Hmm... Uh, I do have this hoodie. I guess I can wear it to cover me up some. Cool! There, see? Now it's not so embarrassing. Now that we're all set, let's go eat. I'm starving. Okay. R right. <laughs> hmm. Interesting costumes. Uh... This reminds me of my first day here. There's good food. Everyone is happy and having fun. It's so nice to see everyone finally together like a happy family. Katero! There you are. Hello. Hi, Taiga. Wow, <laughs> that costume looks really good on you. You're hiding something, aren't you? Aw, oh, you think so? I used one of my costumes Miss Yuri had. I painted the tattoos myself. Wow! They look really cool. <laughs> Not just cool, I'm also sexy. This costume really shows off my muscles. Hello? <laughs> Guys, OMG, am I not the only one who thinks it's too hot in here? I'm like sweating bullets over here. I'm so <laughs> fabulous. But maybe it's all worth it. How do I look? This is a very different style for my repertoire after all. Um. Who are you? Oh my god. <laughs> it's me, Edward. Sheesh, I just styled up my hair a little differently and you couldn't even recognize me. <laughs> no freaking way! Is that really you, Edward? Damn, I almost didn't recognize you with that hair, do you? You look amazing! Aww... Taiga! You're just the sweetest! Huh? Wait, that's Edward? Taiga's right! You look so good with your hair like that! Seriously? Really? You both like it that much, huh? Interesting. Maybe I should consider keeping this hair, do you? <sighs> and... <sighs> I told you to... Slow down. Lee! I told you not to change into something more comfortable and easy to move in, you know. But... This, but this outfit is quite exciting. It makes me feel commanding and powerful. <laughs> um... How is an oversized trash can supposed to make you feel commanding? Ugh. Excuse you. For your information, I am a, I am a level 90 holy paladin. I bear the axe of Fortis... Fortisai... Something like that? Which I used to slay the mighty... German de Gundir and save the old sage of the wreck. <laughs> this armor is a defense plus 99 chainmail, which was enchanted by the legendary oracles themselves. Armor and weapons like this could be only be entrusted to me, the greatest hero in all the known kingdoms. Uh, well, yeah. Still looks like an oversized trash can. Absolutely not. <laughs> totally does not. Lee. Aren't you gonna have trouble holding all those props? I don't mind at all. The, the weight of this armor is no match for the profuse amount of stamina that I have invested in my stats. Gah! Uh. <laughs> I told you not to wear all of that, Lee. It's too much. Uh. The, the level that he holy paladin requires your immediate assistance. Uh. All right, fine. I'll help you get rid of some of that dead weight. Come on. <laughs> Those two have always made sh f those two always made sure things never get boring around here. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, aren't you going to eat, Katero? Your friends look like they're already digging in. Oh. Not yet. The line is still way too short. I'm not that hungry either. I usually like to wait until the line gets a little shorter before I get my meal. How about you? Not hungry yet? Well. Oh, I am. But I feel the same. I don't want to stand around in line. And I'm still pretty shy going in groups. <laughs> it was still kind of awkward talking to Taika so normally. How did I even break the ice? Hey! Are you Bobby Kato? No! <laughs> but what? No, Yuichi, I was just... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Like you said, all habits die hard. Yeah. R right. 
But by the way, it looks like the Scoutmasters really let your dog stay in the camp. <laughs> Just like how they, how they let you stay here too. Well... Yeah, but why is she here though? And why is she on leash? Taiga? Don't tell me if you're a dog. Yuki! A duck! <laughs> oh my god, you should have seen your face. That was classic. Hey! That wasn't- that wasn't very nice. <laughs> what a scaredy cat. Aren't you supposed to be tough in that costume? Well... D dogs and I just don't get along very well. I try my best to stay away from them. Well. That makes sense. You do look like a cat person to me, Dynamite. Huh? W why are you call me that? You would have been the perfect candidate for Torchhead, but that's already taken. <laughs> it's just one of Yuichi's nicknames, Taiga. He gives them to everyone he likes. You know, it's really fun to see you guys joking around like this. I wasn't sure I'd ever see you two getting along well. No big deal. Oh, yeah? What's wrong, girl? Don't, worry. Don't mind her. She's just hungry. She's been poking all the campers asking for food. I was on my way out to get her some, but then I saw you two. Well... Since Yuki is poking for me for food, maybe I can go feed her? Would you mind, Yuichi? Nope. Go ahead. She'll like it even more if you feed her after all. Yuki! Do you want some food? I could get some food for you. <laughs> Alright. Let's go, Yuki. Dynamite. G uh, yes? <laughs> Wrong. Lighten up, will you? You look like you've seen a ghost. Well, I guess I'm still not used to being around you, Katero. Y around you and Katero, and after everything that's happened, I haven't forgiven myself for everything I've done. What? You're still going on about that? I told you we're cool. You should just forget about it. But looking back, there was no reason for me to have even done any of those things. I'm still kind of embarrassed just being around you guys. Uh. Even though we made that journal for Katero, I still don't feel like it's enough to cover. Ow! <laughs> you want to be punished, right? There, we're all good now. Now stop worrying about all that stupid stuff in the past. <sighs> it's times like this I wonder where your tough guy act went. Yoichi. Really have an interesting way of forgiving people, Yoichi. Shut up! Dynamite. <laughs> Hello. Hey guys, we're back. Yuki sure was hungry. She emptied her food bowl in less than a minute. <laughs> Come on. Good. And speaking of which, looks like the line has gotten shorter. Wanna get some grub? Sure. Oh, I'd love to. I'm actually starving already. <laughs> you wanna come with us, Taiga? Whoa. Y you're inviting me? Duh. Okay. R right. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. Burp. Yuichi. You sound so full, Yuichi. Yeah, butt cheeks did a pretty good job with the food as usual. Ah, now I kind of want to take a nap. Oh, <laughs> sounds like Yuki agrees with me. Well, she did have a busy day. Maybe we should bring her back uh, to her shed to rest. Yeah, good idea. Hey there. <laughs> hey guys, enjoying the party? Oh, your costume looks funny, Yuichi. I like how you and your dog switch places. <laughs> you look cute too, Katero. The baseball uniform really suits you. Thank you. Thanks, Seto. But my costume is nothing compared to yours. You look amazing. Ah! It's too bright for my eyes. Where are you supposed to be? <laughs> what are you supposed to be anyway? A flashlight? Oh. I'm a cyber cat. It's not really a character, but it's pretty trendy online. I even used to cosplay too, so I'm used to dressing up like this. Huh? Cosplay? The hell is that? Are you serious? You don't know what cosplaying is? Nope. Is that like a fetish or something? Yoichi! Don't be silly, Yoichi! Cosplay is this really cool thing where you get to dress up as a character you like. It's super fun. <laughs> it's short for costume play, and you're doing it right now. Alright. Oh, I see. Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, our costumes are kind of opposite of each other. Primitive dog versus the futuristic cat. <laughs> but really, Yoichi's costume isn't all bad at all. I could actually see him being a pretty good cosplayer someday. What? What? <laughs> Seto! Where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. He asked me to get you a slice of pizza and then just ran off. Oops, my bad. Sorry, Felix. I just saw these two and wanted to ask them about their costumes. Alright. Oh, I see. Aww. Felix, you look so cute in your little sailor uniform. Thanks. Miss Yuri kind of made me wear this. 
She said it matched my hair and eyes. Hello. So what have you been d been up to these last few days, Felix? Yeah, you ran off without giving us the posters, and I haven't seen you since. Well... I had an idea for what I could do to help, but I'm not sure my dad agrees with it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember you said you were calling your dad about something. What did you want from them? It's okay. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm not even sure if they'll be able to help at any rate. Anyway... What did you guys think about the food? Sir Aiden sure outdid himself this time. Oh! Yeah, Yuichi and I b both ate a lot. So we're kind of sleepy now. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I've already eaten a lot. <laughs> it really is nice to celebrate with a, a, like this with an authentic party every now and then. Actually, this kind of reminds me of the cocktail parties my father would throw. <laughs> Except at this one, we don't get to have any booze. I'm surprised, though. You drink Snowball. Well... No, my father won't let me. Hmm. How about you, Yuichi? Do you drink? Y yeah, of course! <laughs> really? Yuichi, what does it taste like? W well... Hmm. Happy? You haven't ever done it either, have you? <laughs> that's not your business, tech geek. Oh. Huh? Is there something wrong with your dog, Yuichi? Hmm. Oh, she's just tired. We were on the way to drop her off at their doghouse before we talked to you guys. Sorry about that. Sorry for stalling you. Yeah. Eh. Eh, it's alright. I'm sure she was fine to wait for a little bit. See you around. You guys can go ahead. We'll chat up more when you get back. Bye. Alright. Bye, guys. Yeah. There we go. You can rest now, Yuki. You've had a long day. <laughs> I gotta say, I was surprised that Yuki was behaving so well around so many people tonight. Yeah, I'm proud of her. Hmm. W wait a minute. Huh? I smell something. Yuichi. What is it, Yuichi? Hmm. You can definitely smell alcohol somewhere here close. What? How can you tell? I thought you never tried it before. I don't smell with my tongue, stupid. And trust me, with how I grew up, I know what booze smells like. And it's coming from the Scoutmaster's office. Well... Felix said that tonight was kind of a cocktail party. Maybe the Scoutmasters are having some cocktails in the office. What? No fair! They're keeping all the good stuff from us. I have to get some of that booze. What? But you've never tried it before! And I've read how alcohol affects people in a lot of different ways. Who knows what it'll do to you? Don't believe stuff like that. Those are just some lame excuses. Uh, just lame excuses to adults. Ugh, let me start over. Shit! Don't believe that stuff. Those are just lame excuses adults use to get away with things. Come on, let's go check it out. Hey, <clears throat> wait up! But what if someone finds out we're... I thought... <laughs> I thought I saw you two sneaking around here. What are you two up to at late, this late at night? You can tell me about it. Speak honestly, or else you'll be punished! Well... It's Yuri. We're out here because, uh... Oh, dear. Oh, my. Could it be... <laughs> <laughs> you two... You two must... <laughs> oh, my God. Excuse me. You two must... You two must be out here for a quickie! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I could have known that Katero would have a kink for costume play. Huh? I thought you told me costume play wasn't about sex, Katero. <laughs> Yoichi. Shuichi. Well... Answer my questions, so I'll have to spank you naughty boys. But don't worry, when you actually get into it, I'll just be a voyeur. <laughs> Sorry. No, I mean... Freaking creep. <laughs> no, Miss Yuri, it's not like that. We're, we're, uh... We were just curious about what the Scoutmasters were wearing for the costume party. Yeah, that's right. Well... Yuichi and I figured that, since you have such a cool costume, and the rest of the Scoutmasters must have uh, costumes that are just as amazing. Aww. And here I thought it was, I was thinking that you two were about to get it. <laughs> there were so many details I went to record. <laughs> I must say that I'm happy that you're both so interested in this little event. Shall we go? If you're curious to see what your Scoutmasters are wearing, come inside the office. Stupid. Look what he got us into now. What? What? Me? You were the one sneaking behind the bushes. Come in, boys. Alright. Yes, Miss Yuri. Hmm, maybe that's where the alcohol was coming from, though? There's your responsible scoutmasters, all dressed up like drunkards. Yuri! W what? Yuri, why don't you bring the campers here? Well... 
they were excited to see what their Scoutmasters were dressed up as, so I thought I'd show them. A bunch of alcoholics! <laughs> Lighten up a little, Yuri. It's a special occasion for us all, right? We can afford to have a drink every once in a while. Correct! Every once in a while. Yes, not every few days like you two have been doing recently. Yuri! Y you didn't have to say that, or, uh, or show the Scoutmaster us indulgent for that matter. Well... This is summer camp, so you shouldn't be drinking at all. Be a good role model, just get into your costumes. Aww. We just opened this bottle, can't we have a sip? <sighs> no! If you put your costumes on earlier when I asked, then maybe you would have had time to fool around. You guys never listened to me. Uh... Hmm. I just passed by the mess hall to find out there were no scoutmasters supervising. What's going on? Dad! You should look at these two! They're sitting here drinking instead of doing their jobs! Oh? That's a fine choice of alcohol! <laughs> what? Dad! No! Not you two! Wait, why, are you, why aren't you in your costume? I told you to get dressed already. Yuri, dear. The, Yuri, the costume is really embarrassing. If I were to wear it around the cameras, I'm sure that I'd be a laughing stock. Yep. And my costume isn't exactly easy to wear. Where the heck did you get costumes like these, anyway? Shall we go? If that's all you're complaining about, then I'll be happy to help you put it on. Now go! Ooh. Hmm. That was really weird. Yeah, so much for the Scoutmasters acting their age tonight. <laughs> well, I think they should have their own fair share of fun, too. <laughs> they left the booze here, though. Come on, let's grab it and get out of here. What? Yoichi, that's ceiling! They have lots more over there, so one missing bottle won't really make a difference. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! Y Yoichi, wait! Uh-oh. Hmm. Ha! <laughs> This spot will work. No, uh, <clears throat> nobody ever comes here. <laughs> Let's try this bad boy out. <laughs> what do we say? You go first. Oh, oh my. Okay, 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 caterer. Um... You go first, Yuichi. All right. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> We're getting drunk tonight. <laughs> All right. Here goes. Man, that packed a punch. <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought. Catero. Now it's your turn, Catero. What? <laughs> Me! Duh. Who else is here, stupid? Well... I'm not sure about this. <laughs> you really don't want to drink with me, then fine. You can go back to that lame costume party for all I care. Uh, <laughs> come on. So you're up for this or not? Uh, all right. Uh... uh. Yeah, smells awful. Huh? You said you tried it, right? Uh, yeah, here goes. <coughs> <laughs> Blah! That's really bitter. The taste is awful. <laughs> Suit yourself, more for me. Oh my. Luigi. I don't think you should be drinking that much. Wah! <sighs> Damn it! No wonder those oldies like this crap. This is amazing. Luigi. I'm not sure what I see what you like about this. <laughs> oh jeez. Hey! I was drinking that! <laughs> I think you've already had enough, Yuichi. Your words are starting to slur. What? Wait, what? No, it's not! <laughs> I don't want you getting hooked on this stuff. You have to stop drinking it. Come on, let's get you some water and flush it out of your system. I don't want to go back to the hit, <laughs> that's all. Let's just stay here. <laughs> I've always... I've always loved hanging out with you more than anyone else, anyway. What? <laughs> you know, before... I, <laughs> I, just, I thought of you as just my fuck buddy. <laughs> but now I feel better, all different about you. It's weird. It's all your fault. <laughs> Yuichi! I think you're already drunk. What? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just telling the truth. Don't you feel the same way about me? <laughs> Yuichi. Let's get you back to your cabin, all right? <laughs> Come oh, on. I know you totally dig me too. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to get me back there so I can, <laughs> <laughs> so I can do something on the bed, don't you? You just want to get me back there so I can do something on the bed, don't you? You didn't think I would notice you staring at my bod this whole time. <laughs> um. 
made it season. <laughs> Is it made in season for you again? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> All the time. Thank you, Gatoro. But you eat cheat. This isn't the time to. <laughs> of course it is. I know you want to get it on again. <laughs> Baseball boy. Come on. I'll let you <laughs> count on my balls here. Are you sure? Are you hearing yourself right now, Yuichi? You're seriously drunk. Maybe we can just... <laughs> drunk or not, I'm still going to do it if you... Go on. Strip me. And play with my... <laughs> and play with my... <laughs> baseball bat. <laughs> Welcome back for the break, everybody. I don't know. You know what they did. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. <laughs> Ow. My butt kind of hurts. Well... I couldn't help it. I didn't know that... I didn't know that doing that with you, drunk, would be so interesting. <laughs> I wasn't drunk. I was just a little tipsy, that's all. Looks like the alcohol has finally worn off, huh? <sighs> Told you that was nothing. But you were hiccuping half the time. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are you laughing at? It, it's just... It's the first time I've ever seen you this cute. You just call me cute? Well, yeah. So you know, that fluffy costume with those ears to match made you look like a really adorable puppy. So, you're telling me that instead of looking like a badass wolf, I've been looking like some cute fluffy puppy in front of everyone all this time? Uh, um, I don't see what's wrong with that. God, this is so fucking embarrassing! <laughs> Give me something that booze again. <laughs> Yo, Ichi, that's way too much. You might... Woo, party! Hey, Yuichi, come back here! <laughs> yeah! Woohoo! Who's ready to party? I know I am. Fuck you all! <laughs> Yuichi! Wait up! Keitaro? What's going on? What's going on with Yuichi? <laughs> He's extra annoying tonight. Actually, this seems pretty normal to me. He's always like this when we, he gets fired up. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. Hey! Hey, condom boy, come on, wrestle with me. What? How dare you call me that? And no way I'm playing games with you, I'm already tired. <laughs> What's the matter, you scared? Shut up, wolf boy, and what the hell? You reek, what's that smell? Hmm. I think that's alcohol. Have you been drinking, Yuichi? Yeah. So what, butts buddy? What? <laughs> Yuichi, how did you even get drunk? Did you sneak inside Scoutmaster's office again? Katero. What happened? Shut up! Mofo Popo, Katero doesn't have to answer your stupid questions. Huh? You two have been drinking? Why did you leave some for me? Hero? Not you two, Hero. Well... Yuichi isn't really causing any harm, so I think it's alright for him to have the fun once in a while. <laughs> my dad always said- My dad says alcohol brings the life to the party, and Yuichi's certainly bringing that. Hello. Oh, howdy, partner. Certainly lightweight around this part, eh? <laughs> it's got Master Yoshi! That's a funny costume! That's so cool! But it suits you! I've never seen seen you look so stylish before. <laughs> so, you're fully embracing a nickname now, Sheriff Brokeback. Yoichi? Y we uh, Aiden told me where that nickname comes from. But please stop calling me that! <laughs> you wish! <laughs> like I would stop after tonight! <laughs> <laughs> I really like your outfit, though, Scoutmaster Yoshi. We're all both figures of authority. What's up? Oh. Hey, ya boys. Enjoying the food, I see. Wow. What kind of costume is that, sir? I'm not sure. It's one of those Egyptian pharaoh costumes or something. Cool. That looks so cool. Well. Yuri was really insistent that I wear this one. Since she said it fits my build. <laughs> Are you seriously going commando under that yo That outfit? King Tutton. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm not even surprised anymore. Don't judge me. Putting on this costume was a lot more trouble than you think. <laughs> but I gotta say, it's been too long since I've seen you having fun like this, Yoshi. Huh? What do you mean, Aiden? I'm always having fun. Mm -mm. No way. You're always super stressed out and worried about things. Serene is right, Scoutmaster Yoshi. You should take a break every once in a while and have fun with us like this. Hmm. Ugh. Was I really so stressed out before? I guess I was worried about the camp quite a bit. 
Hurry up, please. Come on, Dad. Everyone is waiting for you. Uh-oh. This is ridiculous. <laughs> hey, at least you get to stay warm. I'm kind of cold walking around half naked like this, Gramps. How many times do I have to tell you to stop calling me Gramps? I'm not that old. Huh? Is that really Sir Girl inside the costume? Aww. Sir Girl looks so cute. Your suit is so fluffy. <laughs> I guess it is a bit odd to see you dressed like that, sir. <laughs> I feel like if I hugged Sir Guru, it would feel like a giant teddy bear. <laughs> Ready for another prank? Yeah, <laughs> you're so soft, just like Yuki. Gah, Mr. Yister Yukimura, what are you doing? Aww. See, Dad? Everyone likes it. <sighs> I guess I should have expected many different from this group. If this was last year's scouts, I'd be a laughing stock. Don't think like that, Dad. Camp Buddy's different now, after all. Yoichi. You're acting very strange today. You're more, um, how do I say this? <laughs> Let him be, Yoshi. I'm sure Yoichi is here just celebrating the success of our fundraising campaign. Gotta work hard. He and Keiro worked extra hard with you this week, after all. So you should let them have fun tonight, at least. Isn't that right, Keiro? Wink, wink. Yes, sir. Uh, I saved, sir, Aiden. Anyway. Now that everyone is here, I want to let you all know, know that this party was only made possible through everyone's hard work this week. That's right. You've done all so wonderful. You've all done so wonderfully that you've more than earned this celebration. I'm impressed. I'm also pleased to announce that we've exceeded our expectations. That's correct. That's right. Thanks to the posters and online advertising, we've received a large number of inquiries and pre-registrations on our website. In fact, we are expecting to recruit more than a hundred scouts for next year's summer. <laughs> and that's not all. The revenue from our cookie sales and donations we received were also a huge help. We'll be able to use that money to pay for the camp's budget for the next few months. That's right. And the cookies were such a hu uh, such a hit. Aiden has decided to keep business running for the time being. But now, I like to get our president, Sir Guru, to say a few words. You did a good job. I have to say. I'm extremely proud of everyone here. You've all really managed to turn this place around. I must admit that I was ready to close this camp down before I met this year's scouts and saw the hard work of your scoutmasters. I'm truly grateful. I'm incredibly grateful to all of you, and so glad that Camp Buddy is back in its prime. So please, everyone enjoy the party and have fun. Yeah! This party's just getting started! Come on! Conda boy! <laughs> <laughs> wrestle already. No! I already told you, I don't want to... Oh. Yoichi. Calm down, you two. You're not supposed to run around this mess hall. <laughs> Try and stop me, mofo popo. Ha <laughs> ha. Come back here. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna go get a drink. Do you two want anything? It's alright. No thanks, Hunter. I've got some juice left from before. Okay. See you guys soon. <laughs> this reminds me of the first day at camp. After how much everyone has changed, I guess I can say I'm pretty happy that all the fun still stayed. Huh. Are you alright? <laughs> Are you okay, Yuichi? Yeah. My head hurts so frickin' bad. I feel like it's breaking in half. Mm. You must be hungover from all that booze you drank. <laughs> I can't remember anything from last night. Uh, I told you you had no idea what drinking would do to you, but you didn't listen. Anyway. I'll get you to get some medicine from Serene. Stay put, okay? Uh. <laughs> Yuichi. Oh! Katero, you're up early. Breakfast isn't ready yet, so I hope you don't mind waiting a little while. Sir Aiden? Actually, I'm here to ask for some headache medicine. <laughs> so the booze messed with my man Yuichi after all, huh? Don't worry, I have just the solution. Yeah! Oh yeah, how did you know Yuichi drank last night, Sir Aiden? <laughs> the moment I put on my costume and saw the booze was missing, I knew it was you two. But don't worry, I won't tell Sol. I know how fun it is to try out something new every once in a while. Here you go. This should ease up that pesky migraine of Yuichi's. Huh? You just keep these in your pockets, Sir Aiden? Oh! Oh, no, no. Y Yoshi and I had our own share of headaches after our night of partying, you see. Uh... So you guys had something to drink last night after all. <laughs> of course. We waited until after Yuri went to sleep so nobody would scald us. 
Oh, and before I forget, Yuichi should take a cold bath too. With this medicine, his headache will be gone in no time. Hmm. That's a good idea, but I'm not sure if I can get Yuichi to take one. <laughs> now that I can't help you with. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Serene. I'll bring this medicine to Yuichi right away. No problem. Happy to help. <laughs> Adorable. Yuichi! Hey, I talked to Serene about your headache. And he said you should take this medicine. Uh, Come on! Get up, Yuichi. You have to take it or you won't feel any better. Fine. Ugh. Come on! <laughs> Here, have some water to help swallow it down. Oh, Alright! Oh. There we go. Serene also said you should take a bath to help ease the pain. Nope. Uh, I don't wanna. Hmm. Even if I take one with you? Nope! <laughs> don't can do, Kiro. If I get up from bed, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> I know you're gonna say that. You leave me no choice but to use my trump card. Yuki! Come in, Yuki. <laughs> hey, Yuki! Daddy Yuichi doesn't want to take a bath. That means you might not get to have one either. <laughs> Pounce. Hey! <laughs> hey, Yuki! Yuki! You shouldn't be falling just say one's orders just like that, you know? Even if it is Katerum. <laughs> I just told her we'd all be taking a bath together and she got really excited. Huh? You really want to take a bath that much, Yuki? <laughs> <laughs> See? I told you. Fine. You thought... Uh, uh, you guys win. All right! Great! I returned on the heater in the bathroom. So we just have to get in. <laughs> <laughs> you totally set me up, huh? Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, Yuki. Let's get Daddy Yuichi stripped down. <laughs> hey! I can do it myself. Hey! Next thing I knew, you were running all over the mess hall screaming, Party, party, party! <sighs> I don't believe you. Yeah. It's true. You did it all last night while you were drunk. <laughs> I bet you're just exaggerating. Are you sure? I remember you told me last night that other people just make excuses for when they're drunk. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're trying to say. I'm never gonna drink that much again. Happy? <laughs> you just had to do it anyway, didn't you? I sure enjoying shoving this in my face. <laughs> I learned from the best. Whatever. Uh. All right. There you go. There we go. Your hair is squeaky clean. You can rinse now. Okay, Yuki, it's your turn. Come here, girl. Let me help you with her at least. Oh. You can move around now? Yeah, I think that medicine is finally kicking in. Wow. Yuki's fur is so soft. And she isn't that dirty either. Do you, do you give her lots of baths? Nope. Actually, no. She only takes a bath around once every two months. Wow! That's surprising. I wonder why she's so fluffy then. Hmm. Must be something to do with being a pure breed or something. Well... That really doesn't explain why she's clean, though. Maybe Scoutmaster Yoshi bathes her regularly. He does go and up, he does go and check up on her all the time. Hmm. Probably right. Um... Scoutmaster Yoshi takes really good care of Yuki, huh? He seems to do a lot for her. Yeah. He really does. I think he does more for her than I do. That guy always makes sure his me and Yuki are both well taken care of. So I guess I owe him a lot. And we have to tell it this guy is Yushi. Hi, Yuichi. I can't believe I'm I can't believe I'm hearing those words from you right now. Why don't you tell it to Scoutmaster Yoshi? Hearing you say that would make him so happy. Huh? I guess you're right. Well. It wouldn't hurt to tell him that to him just once. Handling Yuki and me is no joke after all. Oh, That's so sweet, Yuichi. Hmm. That's not happening anytime soon, though. There's no way I could say something embarrassing like that in front of him now. <laughs> You're lucky I'm only talking like this with you. Really feels good to know that Yuichi is comfortable telling me how he feels. Back when we first met, he wouldn't trust me with anything. I'm so proud seeing how far he's come. So. Anyway, that's about that's about enough wishy-washy for you, Yuki. Let's go rinse you up. Take this! What? <laughs> <laughs> you like that, Yuki? <laughs> you can learn a thing or two from Yuki about taking baths, Yuichi. <laughs> let's go. Anyway, let's get let's get dried up and dressed. Ooh. There we go. Huh? What's that, Yuki? You want to play outside next? Uh, uh. What? 
It's okay in here! There's fur everywhere! How are we supposed to take a bath in here, Yuichi? Shut up! Shut it, Mr. Perfect. We just took a we took a bath just fine. <laughs> Whoa, Wolf Boy took a bath? Are you still drunk? Hmm. It doesn't seem like he has a hangover anymore either. Anyway. Speaking of which, we got next to no sleep last night because you're sleep talking, Wolf Boy. Ugh. Yeah. And just when I thought he was done talking, he started snoring louder than ever. <laughs> I guess Yuichi can't handle this liquor. But you all stop complaining. I'm sure it wasn't that bad. Oh, really? You throwing up on my costume after we arm wrestled wasn't that bad. Yeah, that's right. And then we had to, sir, and then Serene and I had to drag you back here to stop you from flipping tables over. Huh? What? There, there's no way that's true. I call bullshit. Catero? Hey, those dark dorks just made that up, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah? <laughs> You're lying. Fuck! <laughs> hmm. On the brighter side, uh, you had fun at least, right? Are you kidding me? Not at all! I can't even remember one goddamn thing. Yeah! Everyone's gonna think I'm a laughing stock now. <laughs> Don't worry, Yuichi. We're the only ones who saw it. <sighs> that doesn't make me feel any better. <laughs> Thanks for testing alcohol <laughs> for me, Wolf Boy. Now I know better to, than to become a booze hand like you. Shut up! Sh shut up, Torchette. Anyway. That doesn't change the fact that you got our bathroom covering Yuki's fur. Now you... You know you could have given her a bath outside. <sighs> Why are you yelling at me again? It was Kator's idea in the first place. Actually... He's right. It was me who brought you in here. I'm sorry. I'll help clean up the mess later. I see. Uh-oh. Hey! How come you never get angry at Kator, Mr. Perfect? Well... This is the first time Kator has done something that I could complain about. I think he'd get off with just a warning for now. Whatever. Ugh. Anyway... We just finished our bath. You guys can use the bathroom now. We still have to walk Yuki outside. I'll clean up the bathroom later, okay, Natsumi? All right. Ah, sh sure. All right. Have fun with Yuki today, you guys. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yuki. Now that you're squeaky clean, don't go rolling around the dirt. You got that? Huh? What is it, Yuki? You need a potty break, girl. Okay, come on. Let's go for a walk. Want me to come with you too, Yuichi? Nope. You can just relax here for a few minutes. We won't be gone long. All right. Come on. Let's go, Yuki. Hmm. Good morning. Good morning, Keiro. Scoutmaster Yoshi. Good morning, Scoutmaster Yoshi. Hmm. What are you doing here? I'm surprised Yuichi and Yuki aren't around. Oh. They'll be right back, sir. Yuichi t just took Yuki on a po quick potty break. All right. Well, I'm here to give Yuki her daily vitamins as well. Huh? What are those for, sir? <laughs> They're to keep Yuki healthy. She may be suffering from some vitamin deficiencies while she's pregnant. So the vet advised us to have her take them daily. I see. Oh. Anyway. Anyway, Kateru, while we have a moment alone, I want to thank you. Eh? But why, Scoutmaster Yoshi? Well? For taking care of Yuichi. I know I struggle to understand him sometimes, but for you, it just seems to come so naturally. Furthermore... For the longest time, Yuichi felt abandoned and only ever seemed to trust Yuki. But... Then you came along and softened his heart. That's something I'd always hoped to achieve. Good job! You may have truly done an amazing thing with him, Keitaro. Well... I haven't done that much, sir. I'm just glad that Yuichi is starting to see me as someone he can trust. As a matter of fact... I'd say he already sees you as a part of his family now, too, Keitaro. You and Yuki are both extremely special to him. Scoutmaster Yoshi really thought, thought that I meant that much to Yuichi. As much as I wanted to be a part of Yuichi's family, there were still certain things I didn't know about him. I know Yuichi told me about his past a few weeks ago, but there were still a lot of questions in my head. Ow, I, I... I've been wondering, Scoutmaster Yoshi. Yuichi mentioned before that he was living in the streets when you met him. He also told me that's where he met Yuki. Wow, I'm surprised Yuichi told you all of that. But Yuichi told you was true. I still remember it like it was just yesterday. As a child, Yoichi was quite the rascal. Even more mischievous than he is today, if you can believe. Oh, how exactly did you meet Yoichi, Scoutmaster Yoshi? I found him in the streets one day, all grimy and begging for food. Little did I know that he was trying to distract me, and Yuki was sneaking up behind me to snag my wallet. <laughs> I managed to catch the two of them in the act, but instead of ratting him out, I decided to invite him to come stay at Camp Buddy. That was really selfless of you, Scoutmaster Yoshi. 
seeing how helpless Yoichi was then, I knew I couldn't turn my back on him, especially knowing that I could really help him. Yoichi kept rejecting my offer until I convinced him that not only could he get in serious trouble, he was also putting his dog in danger living the way that he did. In his eyes, I saw just how much he loved his dog, and I believe that was the main reason he agreed. Ever since then, he's been here in camp with Yuki and me. Thank you so much for telling me all this, Scoutmaster Yoshi. It's no problem, Keitaro. I'm sure there are still a lot of things about Yoichi you are curious about. But I can see how much you respect his privacy by not forcing him to tell you about his past all at once. Ah, Scoutmaster Yoshi, <laughs> how did you know I was... Well, if I was in your shoes, I would be really curious too. But here's what I can tell you. Yoichi trusts you enough to have opened up and told you what you know so far. And knowing he sees you as such an important person in his life, I believe you will know everything there is to know about him soon enough. So please be patient with him until that time comes. I understand, Scoutmaster Yoshi. I know I've told you this several times already, but thank you for everything you've done for Yoichi. Yoichi has shown so much improvement in such a short time. He's coming to activities, listening to his superiors, and getting along with other campers. You are, without a doubt, the biggest reason for all these great changes in him. Thank you, Scoutmaster Yoshi. That's really flattering. Just promise to keep looking after him, all right? I will, Scoutmaster Yoshi. You can count on me. Thanks, Keiro. I know I can trust you. Hey! I'm back. Oh, what are you doing here, Sheriff Brokeback? <laughs> Hello! Oh, oh, welcome back, Yuichi. Scoutmaster Yoshi was just here to get uh, give Yuki her vitamins this morning. That's correct. That's right. Come here, girl. That's a good girl. Now that that's taken care of, I'll be heading back to the office now. I have a lot to do today. As a matter of fact... I woke up late from the party, and there's tons of applications to the camp to sort through. Wow! There's really that many who pre-registered, sir? <laughs> yes, the campaign was so successful that we've already received an unprecedented amount of applicants for next year's batch. I have to go and sort the applications to make sure that all of them are ready to be processed by Sir Guru. Oh! I can help you with that, Scoutmaster Yoshi. Yes, of course. Sure thing. That would save me a lot of time. Yoichi! How about you? Are you up for it? Yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> I don't have anything to do today anyway. Good job! It's so nice to hear Yoichi agreed to do chores. <laughs> Say that You saying that makes me not want to help anymore. Hmm. I put this. I can let Yuki tag along with us inside the office too. How would you like that, Yuichi? Well. Yeah, of course. All right. It's decided then. Let's head to the office. <laughs> Such an old softy. Wow. It's been hours, and we've only gone through the first stack of letters. There's still so much more to check. That's correct. We also have a large number of emails, too. Hmm. How did you plan on doing this all by yourself, sir? <laughs> Seems like you'll need a new scoutmaster just to help handle all the new campers. <laughs> well, I wouldn't mind hiring someone else, especially if there is a reliable Zayden. Oh! Come in! Oh! Good evening, Scoutmaster Yoshi. We were just looking for... So... This is where you two have been. We haven't seen you guys at all since this morning. Bruin just happened to mention that you guys might be in here. Hmm... It looks like you guys are busy, though. Hello. Oh, hey, guys. Scoutmaster Yoshi had a bunch of applications for new campers he needed to go through. And Yuichi and I agreed to help. Wow. That's amazing. All of these are applications? There's a lot. The campaign really was successful, wasn't it? Yes, of course. Of course it was, Hunter. Those posters you group made really had people curious and excited. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's part helped a lot. Excellent work! Ninth thing not to me is to tour a video on the trending list in social media. Oh, and I think Natsumi's tour video was on the trending list in social media. I think that drew in a lot of attention too. Uh, <laughs> that that video was really embarrassing, but at least it gained a lot of attention. As a matter of fact. Some of the letters are asking if we plan on continuing cookie sales for every year. I guess all of your hard work with those sweet treats really drew people in, Hero. Aww. I'm flattered, sir. If I couldn't have done it. A... Aw, I'm flattered, sir. But I couldn't have done it without Bro Aiden's help. Yay! Everyone did their job so well. I guess Camp Buddy really is going to be much bigger next year. I agree. Absolutely. I'm really considering hiring new Scoutmasters for next semester, too. Anyway... By the way, how much do you guys have left to check here? 
Doesn't like you've gone through uh, even half the applicants. <laughs> and Wolf Boy over there is just sleeping. Hey! Wolf Boy, wake up! What? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Wolf Boy? Scoutmaster Yoshi and Kato are working hard on these applications, and you're just sleeping with Yuki. I can't help it. This is so freaking boring. See? Even Yuki thinks so. Just make me if anything interesting happens. Like if someone sent in some prank mail or something. <laughs> You're no help at all, Wolf Boy. <laughs> On the contrary, Hero, Yuichi here has actually helped us check through some letters already. He eventually lost interest after an hour, though. <laughs> In your face, Torchhead. <laughs> that was only half a compliment, dummy. I have an idea. Hunter, Hero, why don't we help them check the remaining applications? I've already finished my chores for the day, after all. all right. I don't mind. I'm sure we could finish everything before nighttime if we all work together. Yeah! yeah. Let me show Wolf Boy here how to actually help. Whatever. I'm busy cutting with Yuki over here anyways, Torchhead. Okay, fine. <laughs> sure thing, boys. Why was that Yuichi? <laughs> sure thing, boys. We could use <clears throat> a few more helping hands anyways. I know I could count on my best campers. With everyone's help, we were able to speed through checking all the applications and finish just after the sun had set. <sighs> Finally, it's done. There were so many applications. That's right. Eh, I feel dizzy after reading through all those letters. Phew. Doesn't it feel great to have accomplished such a large task? I look like completing work like this. Good job. Great work today, everyone. Thanks to all of you, we managed to finish checking all these pre-registration forms. Looks like we'll have quite some. It likes we'll have. No, no, no. Excuse me, my words. It looks like we'll have quite the full summer semester next season. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. We're just happy to know that so many people are interested. I appreciate it. It's a little word for all your help today. Why don't we go head over to the mess hall? I've eaten scoop us some ice cream. Wow. Ice cream sounds amazing. Yeah. A treat after all of that sounds great. Thank you. All right. Let's go, everyone. <laughs> Yoichi. Are you coming? It's ice cream time. Yeah. Let me just drop Yuki off at her doghouse first. She seems like she's getting tired. Oh! Sure, I'll come with you. <laughs> it's nice getting to spend the whole day with Yuki today. Yeah. It's been forever since she's been able to be with me like this all day. Huh? Must be exhausted, huh, Yuki? <laughs> What's up with you, Yuki? You're being extra clean today. What? Looks like she's just thanking you for hanging out with her all day. You are so good today, Yuki. Who's a good girl? You are. Aw. <laughs> ah. You smell so nice thanks to your bath earlier. We really spoiled you today, huh? Well... She needs to be pampered. She's gonna be a mother soon, after all. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I'm so excited for the pups. I'll learn how to take care of them right and keep them safe for sure. <laughs> I'll teach them lots of tricks, too. Just like how he taught you, Yuki. Yeah, yeah, Yuki. We'll let Kato take care of the puppies, too. We'll raise them together. Yeah? You'd really let me help... Let me... <clears throat> You'd really let me help raise Yuki's pups, Yuichi? Duh. You helped me take care of Yuki all this time, so why are you gonna stop now? You don't have to be a... You don't have a problem with that, right? No way! Uh, of course I don't, Yuichi. It would be my pleasure. <laughs> Get ready to be a mom, then. Aw, uh, you really are excited, huh, Yuichi? Whatever. Let's just go catch up with these dorks, or they might not leave any ice cream for us. All right. Hmm. Ah, wait. I love you! Ha! Ah, that's a new voice line I've heard before. I love you so, so much, Yuki. Ah. Oh. Come on. Let's go. Yuichi. Ah. Seeing how much Yuichi cares about Yuki really warmed my heart. He was so happy now that we had her here, and everyone was so happy and willing to accept her now. I hope Yuichi and Yuki could stay happy together here at camp for a long time. Hmm. Uh, huh? I wonder.
wonder where everyone is today. Eh? It's also pretty dark outside. I think it's gonna rain soon. Hi there. Good morning, Katero. Hello. Hello, Natsumi. Are we having an activity today? I don't think so. Uh, not right now. I just have to take the laundry in before it starts raining. It's pretty dark outside, so this might be a heavy rain. Come to think of it, I should probably move the plants too. Oh! I see. Do you know where everyone else is, though? Hmm. Let's see. Hiro and Hunter are doing their usual thing. Yuichi's just running around the camp. I'm sure he's been wild as always. Alright. I'll get dressed and see what Yuichi's up to then. Alright. Don't stay out too long. You might get caught in the rain. Don't worry. I won't want it to me. Not to me. Blah, blah. <laughs> oh! There he is! Yuichi! What's going on? What's wrong? Y you look upset. I... I can't find her anywhere. What? Didn't we tie her up in the doghouse last night? Is, is she not there? Yeah. Checked there first, but it looked like she chewed through her leash. She must have ran away. Hmm. Have we asked Scott Master Yoshi if he's seen her yet? Maybe he just walked Yuki outside. No, oh, Katero. I passed by him a while ago when I was looking for Yuki, and I didn't tell him anything yet. I'm afraid the old man might go ballistic again if he found a Yuki was off her leash and all causing trouble. So... What should I do, Katero? This is the first time Yuki's ever done something like this. Well... I'm sure if we can find her just like we did before. Have you at least tried tracking her scent? <sighs> Can't. The stupid weather's messing with my nose. I know. Let's spill up so we can find her faster. Fine. Y you're right. Okay, fine. I'll I'll head into the woods. I have a feeling she might have run off there. Sure. I'll go search for her around the camp and ask the Scoutmasters for her help, too. I'll, I'll catch up to you as soon as we find her. Got it. Thanks, Caterer. Yuki, please be okay. Sir! Katero! Oh, what brings you here? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to bother you, sir, but have you seen Yuki around? Huh? Yuki? I haven't actually. Her breakfast's still an hour away. Why? Did something happen? Well... Seems like Yuki's run away again. Huh? The dog is missing. I thought she was on a leash. Actually... We made sure her leash was secure last night, sir, but it seems like she chewed through it. Hmm... Does Yuichi know that she's missing? Yes, sir! He's the one who told me, and he's out looking- he's out there looking for her right now. No! Then I think it's clear what needs to happen. Mr. Yukimori's dog must be located as soon as possible. You can count on me. You can leave that to me, sir. I'll take Katero with me to help with the search. Do you want me to come too, Yoshi? I disagree. No, it's alright, Yaden. Yuki can't have gone far too far. Uh, gone too far. <laughs> the two of us and Yuichi should be able to find her. Get moving! Katero, let's go. Yes, sir! <sighs> this is bad. It's definitely gonna rain soon. Are you sure Yuichi headed this way, Katero? Yes, sir. That's right. That makes sense. We couldn't find Yuki anywhere in the camp. It's no wonder Yuichi would look for her in the woods. I just hope they're both alright. Eh? What's that sound? Whoa. Those are puppies. If that's the case. Yuki must have given birth already. Yoichi. And there's Yoichi over there. Yoichi! There you are! Did you find you? Yoichi? What happened? <laughs> Yuki! Yoichi, did she? Why? Why did this have to happen? She was. She was doing just fine yesterday! We were having so much fun together! How? How did it turn out like this? Yoichi... I thought... You guys said she'd be alright! So... Why? Why was she taken away from me? Y yoichi please listen. Nobody wanted this to happen. No! I don't want to hear any more! Please! Just... Leave me alone. Yoichi, please don't push us away. We're here to help. And we can't leave you like this. What about the puppies? They might get sick if we stay here any longer. 
Take them and leave! I'll find a safe spot to bury Yuki. Yoichi. Please. Don't make this harder for me than it already is. Yoichi's entire world fell apart right before our eyes. His eyes were dead. His voice was full of grief. I've always known how Yuki meant the world to Yuichi. What would do this to him? Katero, please take the puppies and bring them back to camp. Put them somewhere warm and safe. But, sir, what about Yoichi? You can leave him to me. Please follow my orders immediately. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yoichi. Why are you still here? I told you to leave me alone! Yoichi, please calm down. I only want to help you. You... This is all your fault! You put poison in Yuki's food, didn't you? Or maybe you took her to that fucking doctor to kill her! I shouldn't have trusted you with Yuki! He has always been so strong! I know she would have died of something like this! Yuichi, please listen to me. Let go of me, you murderer! Yoichi, I would never do that to you. You know I loved Yuki as much as you did. I can't stand to see you suffering like this. Please don't hold back. I know you must be so devastated. You have every right to be hurt and angry. Just bring her back, please! This is so unfair! Please tell me this is just a fucking nightmare! Yoichi, I'm so sorry. If there was any way to change this, I would do it without hesitation. But we have to accept the truth. Yuki has left us for a better place now. Why did she have to leave me too? What did I do to deserve all this? Haven't I suffered enough already? You're right, Yoichi. You don't deserve this. No one does. But please remember that you'll never be alone. We're all here for you. Always. So fucking sad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what should I do? Keitaro. Hey, what happened to? Whoa! Are those Yuki's puppies? Sir Aiden! Please help! Y Yuki! Yuki's out there, and I think she's dead! And Yoichi, and Scoutmaster Yoshi, all those puppies, and. Hey! Whoa, whoa, calm down, Keitaro. Take a quick breath and tell me exactly what happened. Well. Scoutmaster Yoshi and I were looking for Yuichi and Yuki in the forest, but when we got there, it was already too late. Uh oh She must have passed away after giving birth. What? What should I do with these puppies, Sir Aiden? I, I don't know what to do. There, there. Don't panic, Katero. Here, let me take care of those for you. You go inside the cabin and change into something dry, all right? If you stay out here for too long, you'll get a fever again. But... What about the puppies? It will be fine. Don't worry, Katero. I've got them. Here's what you need to do. You're still in shock. Go and calm yourself down first. Got it? I got this. I'll make sure nothing bad happens to these puppies. I promise. All right. I understand, sir. Hmm. But I should go catch up with Yuichi, at least. Hmm. I told you, Katero. Relax. Is Yushi with him? Yeah. It will be fine. Then there's nothing to worry about. You can talk to Yuichi after he calms down, okay? Keitaro. Everything's gonna be alright, Keitaro. Just trust in Yuichi. I know he's tough. Now please head into your cabin and get changed. Alright.
Keitaro. What happened to you? You're soaked. Oh. Let's get you changed to something dry. You might catch a cold. Hold on. Uh, I'll get some towels. Hmm. It's a good thing your spare uniform is clean, Keitaro. What's going on? What happened? Why are you out in the rain? Mm. Whoa, Keitaro, uh, are you crying? Keitaro. Oh, I thought that was Hunter, excuse me. What's wrong, Keitaro? Please tell us. Hmm. D Let's see. D did something happen out there? <sighs> it's Yuki. <sighs> she, she died, giving birth to her puppies. What? Oh no. Yoichi. Yoichi is devastated. I'm not sure how he's handling it right now. I don't know what I should do. Hmm? Where is Yuichi right now? Why is he even with you? Hmm. He's with Scoutmaster Yoshi in the forest. Keitaro? What about the puppies, Keitaro? Are they okay? Yeah. They're with Serene now. Ugh. How could this happen? Yuki was completely fine yesterday. Mm. She's been playing with us some the past few days. Actually... I don't understand what went wrong either. It was all sudden. Well... Dwelling on why it happened won't change the fact that it was her time. And it's not going to help Yuichi either. Mm. Look guys, we all know how much Yuki meant to Yuichi. But times like this are when he needs us to be there for him. Especially you, Keitaro. You're the one he trusts and relies on the most, after all. But... I don't know what to say to him. I, I was so shocked when I saw what happened, and Yuichi pushed me away too. Sorry about that. I'm really sorry this happened today, Keitaro, but right now I bet Yuichi's feeling lonelier than he's ever felt before. I really hate to admit it, but even if he annoys me, Yuichi has always been there for you and tried to do what's best for you. And this should be the last choice in order to get the perfect ending for Yuichi's route. Too bad it wasn't on better circumstances. <laughs> and the last answer, I have to be by his side no matter what. Yeah. You're right, hero. I can't just sit here. I should be at Yuichi's side no matter what. Now that's the Keitaro I know. Go and see him. You can't keep him waiting. Keitaro. We're counting on you, Keitaro. I know you can do it. We know you can do it, Keitaro. Thank you so much. I'll really do my best. I'll see you guys soon. Scoutmaster Yoshi. Hmm. Where's Yu Yuichi? Why isn't he with you? Hmm. Well, we just finished burying Yuki. I did everything I could do, could do to, to calm him down. He asked me to leave him alone for now, but I believe he needs you to go see him. Hmm. I, I was just headed over to him, sir. He tell me where he went. Well, he's at the pier. Katero, uh, I know this may sound strange, but since we all got caught in the rain earlier, maybe you could help convince Yuichi to change into some new clothes. <sighs> uh, I can't really bear to see him in a state any worse than where he's in now. Of course, Scoutmaster Yoshi. I appreciate it. I leave Yuichi in your hands, Katero. I hope you'll be able to help him see that everything will be all right. Yes, sir. Yes, Scoutmaster Yoshi. I will. Okay, and at this point, that's where we'll be ending part five of Camp Buddy Yuichi's route. From this point, there'll be some alternate endings, and I'll be going over all of them. Right from the worst ending to the best ending, or the good ending. The best and the good ones are really not interchangeable. There's only special... <laughs> special sexy scene for the perfect ending, but I want to be exploring all of them because I, I think it's really important to get how um, the um, the partner in question, in this case Yuichi, reacts and how Keitaro reacts as well if they never got along um, as close as they should for, um, for the choices that you made because all the choices that you made throughout the entire game determines it's like an affection gauge like something from Final Fantasy 7 if you get enough points you can get the 
you can get the bad ending because if you don't get any points you can go to the worst ending by default you can get the bad ending you can get the good ending and then you can get the perfect ending so i'll be exploring all those um routes all right so in that case that was part five of camp buddy yuichi's route we'll see you in the endings i'm spyro again i'll see you next time